Okay, let's get it. What's popping, everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And today we're going to take a look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Colossal Chrome Dome. Um, I've been missing from the YouTube world. Um, past few weeks, been living life. Went to Gatlinburg, came back, had a baby shower, and uh, yeah, it's been doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but getting right back to it. Excuse my voice. It is a little hoarse. If you know anything, man, it's football season. So, <laughs> rooting for them Bengals, man. My Bengals are looking good. Cincinnati Bengals. Who they nation. You know what it is. So, got this good packaging. We're going to take a look at the NECA TMNT Chrome Dome. We get the typical NECA packaging, man, which is that box. Has some uh, images of Chrome Dome. Get the turtles down here. Get the Nick Nickelodeon down at the bottom. NECA. On the side, Nickelodeon NECA's volume number six. If you can see that, it's a big box. Here is a nice little bio. If you want to pause that and take a look at that. Get some more images here. Get some product images on the bottom. This thing is huge. It's even holding up Michelangelo. You get Casey Jones. I forgot what this kid name was, man. But on the side, same thing. And if you open up the flap, get a product image. Right there, looking pretty good. And you get the figure in the box. This thing is huge, man. So... If you're new to the channel, you know how we do it. We open live on air. No editing allowed. <laughs> so we're going to get straight to it. Um, Like I said, man, I've been, been living life the past few weeks, man. I haven't had time to do any reviews. Uh, my... Um, my collection is getting bigger and bigger, man. I, I'm still finding shit in the wild. Of course, you see it here. I got Chrome Dome. Found this one out in the wild. So, wanted to go ahead and get that. Got a nice little backdrop. Channel 6 news station. That's that. If you want to use it for a little diorama, post them up in there. Whatever you want to do with it. But that's the insert that comes inside of the box. I don't use it. I slide it right back inside of the box. Close the box up and... Keep it moving. All right. Let's go ahead and start with this dude. A couple accessories. Got some tie downs. I don't need it for his weapons. Comes with two swords. I don't really feel like. There we go. I might have to cut this one. It's a computer tie down. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it is. Get my knife over here. So get this stuff cut. It actually comes with a clam. As you can see, the clam comes, clam tray has extra sets of hands. One, two, three. You get three sets of hands and an extra hand, which looks like a trigger finger hand. So you get one trigger finger hand. We'll get to that though when we Get this dude out of here. This thing is big as hell, man. Get this cutting. I might edit all this shit out. I might not. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. But you're here for the experience, right? You want to see how it's going to be when you get yours and what to expect. So, And that's, that's why I like to unbox stuff. You know what I'm saying? Ah. I mean, hey, they made sure that nobody was going to steal this. Like, for real. I mean, this thing is tied down for real. Neka, you got to relax. Is that it? 
Get it, get it, that's it. Did I get, I didn't get the gun. I didn't get the gun. We got one more. Hopefully I can squeeze up in there and pull him out. I'm pretty sure I got all the tight ends. Ah. Yeah, I might, might edit, edit that out. And there's the hand trap. I'm gonna put this to the side and get some of these ties out the way. And there he is. Beefy, chrome dome, colossal chrome dome. He's done nice too, I will admit. Kind of looks like that is crooked, right? I wonder if that moves. Let's see. Yeah, that does. You straighten that up. There we go. No problem standing. If you know my surface, I always have problems getting my figures to stand, but he's a big dude, big feet. He's able to stand and look pretty pretty good Let's start with the accessories you get a computer here this is done pretty good man if you know anything about that command the paint sculpt all of that shit is always a one you even look at the titch in the details you got a little button for the floppy disk a little jack button there it's a pad which is textured and it is a little raisivity it's raised up those buttons are there's no uh you know letters or numbers or anything but Blue screen, cartoon, <clears throat> nice paint. It's done pretty good. There's that. You get his blaster, which is done in a white plastic. You get some gray paint, some black paint. You know how they do the detail when it comes to the cartoon. To get that cartoon figures, to get that, uh, to get everything uh, to stand out. So you got this on this side, and on this side, you got that. Trigger finger or trigger right in there. If you can see that. Looks pretty good. Has a little scope. Bam. And I don't know what that part is for. But it has a hole through it. I don't know what that's for. Mm. <clears throat> and you get two swords here. Done pretty good. They're identical, so they're done in white plastic. Nice detail. You got grade on the blade. Nice red dot here. You got some black here. Nice blue here. Red dot here. Black handle. Done pretty good. Get two of those. And like I said, we get the... We have the um, hands here. Uh, is this going to take down? Oh, wait, no. We always already eight minutes in, and we're just still going over the over the um, accessories. Check this out, man. They got the nerd. They got this tied down. <laughs> I never seen nothing like that, man. At the top and at the bottom. They were making sure nobody was stealing anything from these necklaces, man. I guess they ain't trying to hear anybody call us saying, oh, I was missing this nut for my... Yeah. So he comes with a set of open salute looking hands done in a black plastic. Got a little something here. Like if, yeah, it does scrape off, so that's not... Nice detail. Open and close, or back side and the front side. Those are done good. You have one trigger finger hand. There's that. You have a pair of gripping fists here for his swords, weapon holding hands. And you get a pair of closed fists. Doing pretty good. And on them, you get these nice open grasping looking hands. So that's it for accessories. 
Um, 10 out of 10. I mean, what more can you want? NECA is known for loading us up with accessories and nothing's different here. So let's move on to the figure. Bring him as close as I can. Take a look at him. He's done nice as hell now. Check out that asymmetrical type look here. You get this on that side of the mask. It's just grayed here. Nice red on the eyes. White dots in the middle. This is all different. Like, if you can see that paint that's on his helmet. Get gray, black. Black here, gray there. This is doing pretty good. Nice panel here for the chest. Got some gray paint details there. Check out that ab section. Nice blue. I like this blue. This is a... Uh, his weapon holster or his sword holster um, belt is loose, so that just floats. This is done mainly in all black plastic, honestly. Got some white detail, more blue, red, elbow pad, back of them. It's big wings here that are glued on. Just done pretty good. All black. Get some white here. You got a little bit of white. That transfer down there. It's not that big of a deal. Blue and red on the knees. But yeah. I mean, he's pretty base. I mean, there's there's a lot of paint on this guy, but he's made in mostly black plastic. But detail, paint, scope. Come on, man. You know what I'm gonna say. Ten when it comes to this neck of TMNT shit, man. Nick, Nick it kills it. Yeah. Let's move on to articulation. The head can only look up that far. And that's because the back of his helmet or whatever is hitting those wings. So he can only go. Yeah, that's 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 as far as he can go. Look it down, he can look down pretty far. Pretty good. And you do get side to side, and you get a little bit of tilt. Yep, a little bit of tilt. Arms hinge up that far before they run into these pieces on his shoulder. So that's raised up. You get a bicep. Do you get any butterfly? No butterfly, but you do get a bicep cut. Mine is stuck on that arm. Let me see this one. There we go. Had to break the paint on that side. I may have to do the same. There it is. So you get your... <laughs> his legs keep on spraying when I'm trying to move this guy. There's your bicep cut. Elbows. Looks to be double. There we go. Double jointed elbows. So you get his form up that far. And as far as the hands, they rotate and they hinge horizontally, so in and out, which is cool. Ab cut, you can get this guy. There's not too much movement up here. I mean, he goes from side to side, but as far as leaning or anything like that, you're not getting that much. This guy, this guy's not leaning back. He's really not. He's leaning only forward a little bit. Leaning back only a little bit. It's really nothing right there. But you get the twist. Just a little, very little bit of tilt. At the waist, I, I thought there was a waist. There it is. The waist does swivel. So you do have a waist cut. So that's good. Wish they would have put that on the ball, but they didn't. No complaints, though. Legs go out far enough, especially for a big dude like this. They go front and, let's see, they kick up that far and they go back only that far. And you have a thigh, a thigh swivel here. Just hitting pretty good. 
I love when companies are able to do that and not just put a cut. I don't care about 360, uh, the ability to do a 360. As long as I can get that nice thigh swivel and it's hidden, that's what I care about. As far as the knees, you have double jointed knees. That bottom joint is stuck on him. Let's see if I can. I'm not going to break that. And it looks like some paint is chipping on the knee pad, if you can see there. I wonder if that's from just for me handling it. That knee is stuck. I'm not about to. Yeah, I can do this one. So double jointed knee gets up that far. Pretty good. You can see that cup for the boot swivel. Well, it looks like. Actually, it's not. That looks like a cut. But that's just detail. And it goes all the way around. But that is not a actual. No, nah, it's not a. It's not a uh, boot cut. Foot hinges down that far. It goes up that far. And you have crazy pivot. And you also have a toe hinge, which is done pretty good. It's far enough up on the foot, so it is really a toe joint. This knee over here. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. I was able to break it. Or not break it, but... Um, pump that paint. You can see here, man. You can see some minor little... Like they had to go in and repaint over here. Looks like there was some damage done to it and they had to fix it. I don't like that. I do not like that. It's not a big, not the biggest deal. It looks like this leg alone, man, because it's a lot looser than this one is. This is the one that kept spreading out the most. Um, I can see some imperfection here. I see this here. See a little bit of paint on the boot from the white. Looks like this leg, they had some issues with it. This one's fine, but I didn't even pay attention to that little detail here. But I'm not going to complain, man. I mean, if you're a big dude like this, and he also has some red hair, I'm, I can't complain, man. You know what I'm saying? He's dope. So, these here, if I can swivel this all the way back around. I see this little post here. I wonder if, yeah, that's for his gun. I see the peg hole here that will play again right onto that. So, let's see if we can do that. Yep. Or no. See, I can't tell. Looks like it does. Let me see if I can get that done. I mean, this is super soft. And I see a hole in it. I'm not... So I can't really tell if this is where he would hold his weapon. It looks like it, but it's... Look at it. It's just floppy. Um, I'm not sure if something was... I didn't break nothing off of over there did i <clears throat> no i don't see anything um i don't know how i feel about that that should have been a lot harder in my opinion i mean it's 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 there it's on there but i feel like it'll fall off you know what i'm saying it's hanging on but barely these just slide in like so And that's how far, see, this one went all the way down. This one is having problems going all the way down. Let's see if I, there we go. Goes all the way in there. That's how it looks. And that just fell off like I figured it would. I may just have them holding the gun. I'm not sure. This leg is kind of loose on this side, but 
He's standing pretty good. You guys want to see him hold? Let's, let's, why not? let's do it. Let's do the trigger finger. It's for the right side. Just pop that out. Just a peg. Pop that one in. And we can, you know, one of my fears is that since this is painted, you're going to see some wear on that gun. I'm trying to slide it in his hand. I can't guarantee. And his hands are a little rigid. And I can see that this is going to be a problem. Let me take that hand off. Let me, I'm going to go behind the camera and see if I can work this in. Because his hands are like super rigid. And then can I get it on there? I'm struggling with it because the hands are so hard. It's like once I get this hand on, I might not want to take the gun out. See, the hands are like tough. They're like rigid. Like there's no play. At all. So like trying to. Squeeze his hand in. Is. Super challenging. Ah, Okay. Yep. And. The paint is starting to wear. Or the black paint from the hand. Let me see if I can do it this way. Ah. And can I wiggle it that way? Yeah, there we go. There it is. <clears throat> that was kind of difficult. But we managed to get it on there. And let's just pop that back in there. There we go. And there he is holding the weapon. Belt is just flopping all over the place because like I said, it's just a I mean, if you want, you could glue that on right here. And look at this. Look at that. The glue is coming off of. The glue is coming off. Or the paint. But I see white paint right here. Now, I'm not sure if this was glued. Which it looks like it was. Yeah, it was definitely glued. So the belt is made out of white plastic. That was glued on, and now, yeah, that's terrible. Yep, and that's why we do reviews. Um, it's not the, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I could just get more glue and re-glue that on, but it sucks that that happened. And let's get one of these weapon holding hands for the left side so we can hold the sword. Pop that on. And slide that in. Well, that way. And there he is. Holding both weapons. Slide one of those back in there. And there he is. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty cool, man. And if you know anything about NECA, man, they use a lot of paint. So you get a lot of chipping when you're handling these guys. You will notice and see that there's a lot of paint chipping coming off of these figures. Um, Not a big deal in the world, but it does happen just to let you know. And the glue could have been a little bit better over here, but hey, I could glue that back on, so that's not a big deal. Sword is kind of loose in his hand, but that ain't that's not that big of a deal. Looks pretty good. I recommend him. Um, I think he was. 
35, 40 bucks. Can't really remember. Uh, can't, yeah, I can't remember. It was either 35, 40 bucks, one of the two. But like I said, man, he's worth it. Um, you get a lot of accessories, nice sculpt paint, a big hunk of plastic. Yeah. Wait, uh, I, I normally don't do uh, any uh, comparisons, but I do want to show a little bit of comparison with this dude because he is such a big figure. Give me one second. Let's see. Two, sorry, sorry. I have two big dudes that I did reviews on. Go ahead and check those out. This is my latest one that I did a review on. Dope ass figure, Sator and Dark Side, or Seed, or however you want to pronounce his name. There's how he scales with these dudes. He's big as hell. I mean, he's not even completely in frame. That's how I go out. But, yeah. That's him standing next to those two big guys. He's a little taller than him. The dark side. This big dude got him. But, that's your look at the TMNT Colossal Chrome Dome by NECA. Highly recommend the figure. I give them a 9 out of 10. The paint could have been a little bit better here. A little softer plastic for the hands, man, because squeezing in that gun was kind of difficult. We did have some minor little issues or imperfections here on this leg here. But other than that, this thing is pretty fun. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Highly recommend you pick it up if you see it at your local Target. It is a Target exclusive. These NECA figures uh, at Target are becoming very easy to come by. A lot easier, I should say, than they uh, than they were. So I don't I don't think you're gonna have a hard time finding this guy, man. He'll uh, muck man and um, what's his face are becoming pave warmers at my local Target. So. These guys are coming in. You should be able to find them. But that's all I got for you guys today, man. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're up uh, notified when content is uploaded. Um, subscribe, like, share, comment. It's greatly appreciated. And you guys know my saying. It's your boy, Sean. And I'm out. I'll let you do one.